What is humidity? Is it invisible steam, gaseous rain, or even mist? Simply put, humidity is water molecules in one of its three natural states, those states being a solid, a liquid, and a vapor. Now, technically speaking, humidity is the amount of moisture in its vapor form in the air. This is called absolute humidity. Water vapor is not attached to the air, rather it floats in the gaps between the air molecules. You know, the easiest way to define humidity is really simple and quite universal. It's a word that most often describes a feeling we can all appreciate, such as too hot or too cold. Humidity in excess causes that uncomfortable feeling we as humans feel because with all the water vapor in the air around us, it's difficult for our skin to cool itself by shedding moisture through transpiration or perspiration. This translates into us feeling pretty warm and, well, very uncomfortable. Now, just the opposite is true when there's very little moisture vapor in the air. Under these conditions, our body's warmth and moisture are literally pulled from our skin by the surrounding dry air, leading us to feel cold and super dry. Hot air can hold significantly more water vapor than cold air. In other words, the warmer the air, the more energy it has to make air and water molecules collide with each other. These collisions transfer energy. When water molecules gain enough energy, it becomes a water vapor and it transforms from a liquid into a gas. Now, we've all heard the term relative humidity and certainly the phrase, it's not the heat, it's the humidity. Relative humidity is represented as a percentage. That percentage number tells you how full the air is of moisture at any given temperature. A number of 65% RH, for example, indicates that 65% of the air's ability to hold water vapor is used up. When there's no energy left for continued evaporation, the air moisture holding capability is completely saturated and the relative humidity is then 100%. When the air is very dry with no water vapor, the relative humidity is closer to 5 to 10%. So you can see that changing the temperature will only affect the relative humidity number, but not the absolute humidity in the air. Only by using a dedicated device like an April Air dehumidifier or April Air humidifier are you able to actually remove or add the amount of moisture vapor in the air, regardless of the temperature.